danger is looming in the LEGO universe. It seems aliens are about to take over the whole planet, and it's time to take action. So I'll be building a LEGO spaceship factory to save the LEGO world. Time to get rid of these terrible aliens. Before I build the factory, let me introduce you to our research team headed by Dr. Shanks. How does that name sound? And our astronauts who will be taking on their different spaceships on a rescue mission. They are already geared up. Look at our white man. What name do you think we should give him? I'll suggest Navigator Polaris. That sounds cool. Here is Leo Antares. He's our guy in blue. We cannot overlook Luna Cassini. Captain Mira Solis is the head, and our technician, Jax Quasar. Did you get the names? Now let's build the factory, because it seems these guys are quite in a hurry, and I can hear the sound of the aliens evading the ecosystem. First, I have to open my LEGO 60429 box, which contains 126 PCs, and the 60434 box that contains 1422 PCs. That's a lot. Just take a look at all our LEGO boxes. The factory needs to be big enough for all the spaceships. I have some interesting colors here. We are on rescue mission, but we could use some fun. I'll be using color green as the base, and to layer it up, the pink color will be my go-to. I'm using all these colors to touch up. Inside the factory is our cage. That's where all the crappy looking aliens will be thrown. Don't worry, there's no escape for them. Next is the control room. Sometimes it gets hot on the battlefield and we need to consult them here. A factory needs workstations and machinery. Here, I'm building assembly lines and robotic arms using various Lego Technic pieces. These will help us put together our spaceships efficiently. It's time to add some more details. I'm adding control panels, computer screens, and some decorative elements to make our factory functional. Now let's top up the factory with a retractable roof using hinge pieces so our spaceships can launch into space. We can't have an empty factory, let's build our ships then will the factory later. Let's build our first spaceship. Let's start with the frame. It has to be incredibly lightweight so it can fly freely through the space. This spaceship is designed for quick scouting missions. We need to know where those aliens are. We'll start with a small cockpit using transparent pieces for the windshield. Then, we move to build a sleek body using smooth aerodynamic pieces. Look at that magic! We're not done yet. Let's just add small adjustable wings on each side for agility. Now it's time for our two powerful engines at the back for speed. Speed is important, because those aliens can be sneaky. Finally, we will add these antennas and small lights for easy communication and navigation and our scout explorer is ready to scout for alien life forms on distant planets. Let's build our cargo carrier that will help ship all the essential supplies and equipment. We will call this one the Voyager. We have to make the base wide for stability. In the middle is the cargo hold. It has to be large. There are two doors that open on each side of the ship. We'll add a cockpit. It's quite small. The supplies will take most of the space. Let's fit in our minifig pilot. Every mission needs protection, and that's why I'm introducing our next ship. The Defender. The Defender is the backbone of our rescue mission. We already have a strong base for this ship. I'll attach some sturdy blocks around the edges to build the hull. I'm going for a tough look so I'm using a blend of black and dark grey bricks. Let's fix our cockpit. This one is quite different from others. There are lots of control panels. To be well armed I'll attach laser cannons to the sides and front of the ship. Some Lego Technic pieces will make movable turrets. Here is what I love most about this ship. The missile launchers on the wing, and next is the shield generators on the ship. For those, I'll use blue pieces to represent the energy shields. We're not done with the armor yet. I'll enhance the armory with extra playing on the sides and bottom for added protection. This ship is not for fancy, so I'll be using some rough textured Lego bricks to give it the rugged and battle-ready look it needs. Danger looms for those aliens. Finally, let's put in our brave minifig pilot who is ready to defend the fleet. Our Defender is in action. Now, it's time to introduce our fourth spaceship, the Medic. This spaceship is important for rescue mission. No doubt, all astronauts are well trained. But who knows, these aliens could decide to have a bite. So let's create a ship that is loaded with medical supplies. Like the rest of the ship, I'll build a strong base. I'm using a large, flat white piece for the bottom. Then, I'll go ahead to attach some white and red bricks around the edges to build the hull. Next is the Medical Bay. This is the most crucial part of this ship. Let's add some beds using these Lego pieces. Our pilot and co-pilots are waiting to be fit into the cockpit. Now it's time for more details. I'll add sirens and lights using a transparent blue and red pieces. 
I'll also add a stretcher that can be loaded from the back. We're ready for our rescue mission. Next up is the engineer. This spaceship is designed for repairs and construction. Sometimes the flight into the space can be a tough and a bumpy one. So there's a need for repairs. I'll build the workshop. That's the major part of this spaceship. Here are things I'll be adding to this workshop. First is workbench, tool racks and storage areas. Then, I'll add the robotic arms and small cranes. All these make the shop ready for any repair task. We got a call that one spaceship needs repair. So, off we go. And here is our penultimate spaceship. I'll call this one, the Stealth. This particular spaceship is for covert operations. Just like its name, it moves in silence, sneaking through to gather crucial intelligence. That's our CIA. To build this, I'll use a dark transparent canopy piece for the windshield and attach it to the front part of the ship. Inside this space are control panels, navigation screens, and a seat for our stealth pilot. Because we need to make it discreet, I'll use a cloaking system. These transparent pieces will represent the cloaking devices. Those aliens will never see this coming. Let's go on our covert mission. And our final spaceship is Commander, the leader of the mission L. I'm going to start with a sleek base using a large black piece and I'll go on to build the hull with a mix of black and dark blue bricks. Those are colors of authority. Our commander is not complete without creating the commander center. I'll be needing a transparent canopy for the windshield, and I'll attach it to the front. Inside the ship, I'll be adding some advanced control panels, navigation screen, and a comfortable pilot seat. And here comes our commander, shifting the gear. He's definitely excited about this mission. Those aliens better hide themselves. Finally, I'll give the commander some top-notch systems. What's a commander without laser turrets and missile launchers? Finally, the commander is ready. Here's all our six spaceships built and ready for this mission. They have successfully captured these deadly aliens. Squorky finally meets its Waterloo. And there you have it, our spaceship factory ready with spaceships to conquer the space. Would you building yours? Let me know your favorite spaceship. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more creative ideas on LEGO projects. Until next time, keep building.